through photosynthesis, plants convert solar energy into chemical energy. Similarly, artificial photosynthesis is a key technology for converting solar energy into storable chemical energy without using fossil fuels. The splitting of water into hydrogen, an important fuel, and oxygen through photocatalysis is one such method. Photocatalysts, materials that enhance the reaction speed of light for splitting of water, can be divided into one-step and two-step systems, with the former being the simplest and therefore the most attractive for research. Metal oxides are promising photocatalysts for one-step overall water splitting due to their high activity and stability. However, their large energy band gaps limit their sensitivity to visible light. Many studies have explored the sensitization of metal oxides to visible light, revealing that doping metal ions is useful. This method involves adding impurities into the metal oxides, which gives rise to a narrower energy band gap, thus improving sensitivity. Inspired by these findings, a team of researchers from the Department of Applied Chemistry, School of Science and Technology, Meiji University, led by Professor Akihide Iwase, developed new ruthenium, or RU, doped, and iridium lanthanum alkaline metal, or IRLAA, co doped potassium tantalate, or KTAO3 photocatalysts, and investigated their viability for overall water splitting. They demonstrated that both photocatalysts were highly suitable for overall water splitting under visible light when a rhodium core chromium oxide shell co catalyst was used. Furthermore, they showed that the activity of the RU doped photocatalyst was improved by co doping with lanthanum or LA. The optimized RU and LA co doped KTAO3 can split water using visible light with wavelengths up to 540 nanometers, while the IRLAA co-doped KTAO3 photocatalyst is suitable for solar water splitting. These new photocatalysts pave the way for the production of hydrogen from water with zero carbon emissions, contributing to the advancement of sustainable energy technologies.